God. Ah, uh, we are thanking him this morning. Thank you for the price you paid. Ah, uh, yes, I am thanking him for that. Ah, uh, in love he came. Gave amazing grace. Thank you for the Ah, uh, Lord, we give you praise this morning. Thank you for the Ah, uh, yes, the near pierced hand. Wash me in your wash me this morning. My Lord, I know. Ah, uh, yes. indeed we serve a God that is worthy to be praised, worthy to be exalted, worthy to be magnified, worthy to be glorified. Oh my God, he is the awesome God, the almighty God, the everlasting father. He is the king of kings, the ancient of days, the brightest morning star, the rose of Sharon. There is none like him. Oh glory to God, he's God all by himself. I do hope and trust that you're up and thankful today, embracing it in all its fullness. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. Glory to God. We give him praise on this morning and we give him glory on this morning. It is a great day to be alive. Hallelujah. I am thanking him that I found myself on top of my grave this morning. Glory to God. So again, good morning uh, to the entire world. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you on this uh, beautiful Lord's Day. Glory to God. Uh, wherever you are around the world, remember Jesus is Lord. Uh, good morning uh, to Lagos. Uh, good morning uh, to my viewers down there in Tobago and Trinidad. Uh, good morning, Jamaica. Yes, good morning to my viewers down there in um, Barbados. My God, Antigua, the United States. Good morning, Canada. Uh, indeed, again, as I said, it's a great day to be alive and we're just giving God praise glory to God I am just here just for a minute glory to God because I'm heading out to work in a little bit but I just thought I'd just drop by and greet you up and I just want to say thank you so much for each and every one of you who joined us on last night at the launching of Preacher's Corner what an amazing word uh, from a woman of God oh my God a timely word uh, yes at some time point you know it was cutting us out you know but guess what uh, yes it cuts but then it also heals glory to God uh, yes an amazing word amazing time in the presence of the Lord and the question is asked, why are we really serving God? I understand the importance of serving God. Yes, what are the motives behind us serving God? Yep, so there's some things that we walked away with, uh, you know, that we had to really internalize and, and, and look at ourselves and to be able to answer those questions. So again, I want to thank those of you who were part of it live. Uh, glory to God. And also, I pray that uh, for those of you who will watch the replay, uh, that you will, um, you know, get something from it and, 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 and 
and yeah, and, and walk away with something, uh, yes, that we can strive to be better and more committed uh, to the serving Lord. So again, I just want to say special thanks to uh, Pastor Deirdre Watson, uh, Associate Pastor from Kingdom Impact Ministries right here uh, in Toronto, Canada. Uh, may God continue to bless her. Today I'm here. I am here. Uh, yes, for those of you who might not see my co-host for a little bit, yep, you know, this is how work has us, but I'm here to promote. You know, this morning I got up, even before I got up out of my sleep, I had the intention of doing this. I want to promote, you know, uh, this initiative, her organization, her ministry that God has called and gifted her to do. Um, yes, and you know, as I was in the shower, everything was just downloaded in me. You know, we need to set our house in order. Yep, we need to set our house in order. And I'm just, just talking about our physical house, but our spiritual house, uh, glory to God. And I'm just using some of the words because I went to one of her, um, you know, we did a couple of years ago, she was a speaker at this event and she talked about a few of these things. And um, the importance of setting your spiritual house in order and your physical house, uh, because most of the time, and this is what she said, most of the time your spiritual house, how it, it is, is reflection of what your spiritual your physical house is what your spiritual house is like and i'm like oh my god yeah yeah so we need to organize we need to organize ourselves it's time to set your house in order and she has a special that's going on and listen uh, yes, she's a specialist going on this month. The month is almost finished. Only $49. Trust me. And trust me, I believe uh, the information is worth more than that. Yes, it is worth more than that. But she has a special going on for $49. Get your house in order. Uh, it's time to get organized, not only physically, but spiritually. Your mind. Yeah, how? what's the condition of your mind? You understand? You know, the mind is a powerful, uh, glory to God, you think. You understand what I'm saying? As I prepare myself tomorrow to minister on the topic, the mind of Christ, it's a powerful, what is the state of your mind? You know, what's cluttering your mind? What's cluttering your thoughts? Uh, you understand? So you got to declutter those things, uh, glory to God, to be able to hear God properly, to be able to function properly, to be able to be victorious. So what is cluttering your mind? Is that an old thing that people talked about you called... I mean, a woman who knows to declutter your mind spiritually, this is a woman. And she, and, and honestly, I'm not giving you any information. I'm just giving you bits and bites so you go and register. Uh, yes, go and connect with her. Glory to God. She can tell you about every compartment of your house and compare it to your body. Yes, I don't know anybody who can do that like her. Trust me. Whatever is in your garage, she can relate it to somewhere in your spiritual self. So yeah, yeah. What are the stuff that you're hiding? What are the stuff that you think that nobody, you don't want anybody to see? But guess what? Uh, the minute you let something into your house, the minute you get married, your husband might just buck up that thing in the garage. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about your physical garage. I'm talking about your spiritual garage. So again, uh, yes, get involved, get connected with Coach T on her page right here on, um, on Facebook, glory to God. And also, uh, yeah, that space, that thing that you have in your house, that whole vase that you think, you know, you just have it laying down there. You understand what I'm trying to say? That shoe rack that's just dashed down there, that, what, what is it doing there? You know, uh, your place will look like you're a hoarder, but in essence, you're not a hoarder. You just got to find room for that. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I might just, you know, jump on board, uh, you know, and ask her to find some room for my teddy bears. Because uh, she could probably come here and find a home for my teddy bears. Because right now my teddy bears are on my couch. So if I have somebody coming over, they have nowhere to sit but on the floor. <laughs> Oh, glory to God. So I might, yeah, I'm going to jump on, you know, and I'm going to, not because I'm real talk host and she's my co-host, I'm going to, you know, I might wait till the special is over because I think it's worth more than that and talk to her, tell her to come, hey, you got to come to my house, my teddy bear needs a home. Uh, yes, they do need a home because for years they've been on my couch. Glory to God. And I don't want anybody to come and have to sit on the floor. So those are the things I'm talking about. You know what I'm trying to say? So you want to, you know, it's spring. And as she says, we have sprung forward. What is the state of your physical house and your spiritual house? Let's find that thing at home. Uh, glory to God. We give him praise. So again, I am here to endorse uh, this, this organization, this ministry. She's gifted and called by God to do it. Uh, yes, a woman of many talent, but this is her baby. And yes, we need to be organized. Glory to God. And just think about it. When you get organized spiritually, you understand when you go into the house of the Lord and you come together with other believers and you open your mouth, they're going to know that you're organized. Uh, yes. 
Yes, trust me, they're going to know. Uh, so again, uh, Coach T is the person to go to. Uh, yes, connect with her on her Facebook page. Um, you know, tomorrow I'll come back with a little bit more. Um, yeah, and I will definitely... Um, you know, uh, let me, and also to connect with her, I am going to, and she's given me the permission uh, to publicly do so. So I am going to do that right now. Uh, glory to God. I am going to, um, yep, I am going to uh, give you her number. You can connect with Coach T. If you, you know, you can't connect with her through the page, give her a call, make your appointment. Uh, you understand? This is going to be the best money you spend, the best investment in you. Yes, into your life, your uh, yourself, glory to God, only $49. Again, as I said, I think it's more, but this is a special, uh, glory to God. So you want to get the special before uh, the price goes back up. You can connect with Coach T for, um, sorry, 647 857 1157. I'm going to repeat that again 647 eight, five, seven, one, one, six, seven. You can connect with her, give her a call, book your appointment. Uh, you understand? Connect with her on her, um, Facebook page, follow her, uh, glory to God, because again, on Health Watch, uh, we're coming back. And, and I might say to her, listen, you know what? Um, you're not going to give out everything on Health Watch. No, you see, too much time. We like too much free things. You understand what I'm trying to say? Come on, you know, sometimes we got to pay for some stuff. Uh, you understand? So, um, yeah, so connect with her. Get your house in order. As for myself, as I said, I am going to also register myself because my teddy bears need a home. And I can't find anywhere in here as a home. So I'm calling the expert in, yeah? Come find a home for my teddy bear, Coach T, because, uh, yes, you never know when that somebody, somebody comes, they need to have somewhere to sit. Uh, glory to God. So again, uh, yes, Coach T, uh, the person to get to uh, give that thing a home, uh, your mind, and um, let's get it on. It's spring and you want to be prepared for when summer comes. So let's do the spring cleaning right now. Yep. Let's do it right now. And you can do it with Coach T. God bless you for that. And thank you for supporting. We need to support each other. Uh, glory to God. So why don't we do it? Connect with her. You've got the number. I'll be back again tomorrow. And I'm going to be talking about it on Health Watch. I'm going to be promoting it. Uh, you understand? And we're not going to give you everything on Health Watch. We're going to give you enough to make you want to call her. Uh, yes, glory to God. Yeah. Some of us need to find a space for the husband. You understand? We need to find a space in the home for that kid, the kids. Uh, yeah, come on. Talk to Coach T. She can um, find a space for every single thing. And I'm sure when she gets to my place, she might, oh, she might see some more, you know, I, I have teddy bears all over the place. I have a teddy bear on the side, up at the top of my fireplace. Uh, she might say, Vivian, nah, that teddy bears don't belong. But I can't find anywhere else. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to her coming by and trying to find a space. And I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I am literally going to video shoot that. Yes, I think I'm going to take a video shoot of when she comes to let you see the before and the after. Glory to God. Yes. So again, Coach D is a woman to connect. Uh, go check her out on her Facebook page and call her the number I gave you and book your appointment now. Uh, Smart is almost over. All right. So again, thank you for listening for that. That's my commercial for today. But again, I just want to encourage us today just to be strong in the Lord. I want to encourage us today to keep a positive mind. Glory to God. Uh, yes, I am excited. I am looking forward, you know, I'll be ministering tomorrow and I'm going to say it publicly, it's not about boasting, but I'm excited because of what God has deposited in me and it has brought deliverance and, and just strength and joy to me. And I want to deliver it so I can strengthen somebody else. The importance of having and maintaining the mind of Christ. What does that mean? What does that look like through a pandemic? Uh, glory to God. So again, I'm excited. So I want everyone to keep that your mind focused, keep your mind connected, uh, keep your mind connected to the source. Uh, glory to God, because when we have the mind of Christ, uh, our our perspective change. Yes. Glory to God. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we don't see things as the world sees them. We don't do Oh, uh, You got it. You got to keep that mind. You got to keep your mind. You got to keep your mind. That's why the enemy is after our mind, our thoughts. <laughs> he wants to cripple us, our, our ability to have a different perspective. Glory to God. So when you get out of Egypt, you understand what I'm trying to say? You cannot go into the kingdom with an Egypt mind. 
Uh, glory to God. With an Egypt perspective, you're not going to survive. Uh, glory to God. So again, we need to declutter. My <laughs> God, how to, and you know what? That's why she has one of those things. Too. She's going to help you uh, declutter your mind. Yes. Uh, glory to God. So we're going to talk about that. So yeah, be encouraged uh, today. Be Have the mind of Christ. Make sure your mind is governed by the Holy Spirit. When you have the mind of Christ, it's like saying you have the Spirit of God thinking for you. He has all the right thoughts. He knows everything. Uh, glory to God. So just be encouraged today. Be strengthened. And again, remember Jesus loves you. Uh, you know, as we rise up today, uh, just be grateful that you're alive. You're alive. Uh, yes, somebody didn't wake up this morning. Uh, glory to God, but you did. Uh, so it's enough to give God thanks. Oh my God, you could take a deep breath. Uh, you don't have any lungs issue. And you know, even if you do, trust God as your healer today. Uh, glory to God. So we just want to give him thanks for this awesome day. Uh, we thank him for for uh, just allowing us to see it. Oh my God, to be able to lift our hands and open our I am grateful. I mean, you just get, you just grateful. You understand? It's not about, you know, somebody, nobody gave me a million dollars. Glory to God, I, I slept in my bed by myself. So, you know, there was nothing happening last night. Why well, I'm grateful. Ah, it is real talk. I am just grateful. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, help me. I am just grateful that I'm alive. Glory to God. And oh, yes, I have our host, co-host, Tamika Jackson here. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, she's on here right now in the chat. Yeah, I'm just grateful to be alive. Glory to God. Uh, so again, let's continue to trust the Lord. Let's have fun doing it. And again, connect with Coach T. Uh, yes, Tamika Jackson, she will get your house in order, not only uh, your spirit, physical house, but your spiritual house. And again, what do you have in that attic? Yep. She will tell you all when, yep. She will tell you, you know, where, how to, what's in there and why you have it there. You know what I'm trying to say? Glory to God. What's in that kitchen under that sink? You understand what I'm trying to say? So, um, yeah, she can compare the entire house to, to your spiritual body. Oh Lord Jesus. Yep. I think it was the elephant. She has something about the, you know, what? I'm not giving you, yeah. The elephant. Yeah. You have an elephant there. She will tell you where to put that elephant. I'm telling you. Uh, yes, yeah, so you want to connect with her on the special. Again, we are going to be pushing that for the next couple of days. Uh, you understand? I'm trying to say, let's do it. Let's get organized. And Coach T has a plan for you. So I'm out of here, uh, off to work. Remember to continue prayer one for another. Uh, it was a great stopping by, chatting with you, and then doing this commercial uh, yes break uh, for Coach T because it's indeed a good thing. Seriously, no joking. We need to set our house in order. Uh, yes, uh, both spiritually and physically. Very important. Um, and it gives us a peace of mind. Have you ever cleaned up your house and you just said, oh my God, you're just like, oh, like I, you know, you, you clean it up to you don't even want to sit on your bed. You don't want to lie on your bed. You don't, everything just looks, have you ever, yeah, you, you know, it gives you that, you know what I'm trying to say? Uh, yeah, so um, just imagine. When your spiritual house is clean, oh my God, you feel light. You can feel, um, who sing that song? I think it's R. Kelly. I believe I can fly. I believe, yeah. You know, when you clean that spiritual house, you know, you can tell I don't sing. Uh, yeah, you know, you can fly. You feel like you can soar because you're so light. You understand what I'm trying to say? You don't have, you entered all that bitterness and that cluttering of your arteries and, and all that toxin that affects your liver and all of that stuff, whatever that, all that negative. Yeah, she can get it out. She'll get it out. She will dig it out. Uh, yeah, for you. All right. So again, have yourself a wonderful day. Again, wherever you are around the world, remember Jesus is Lord uh, to the glory of God. Remember you have the heart of a champion, the mind of an overcomer and the spirit of more than a conqueror because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Glory to God. Uh, yes, you are a lit candle. Go out and light your world today. Love on somebody today. Appreciate somebody today. If you can support somebody today, support somebody today. Glory to God. Uh, yes, because it will be a good thing. You'll feel good about yourself. Uh, we bless the Lord. So again, um, I am Vivian, the host of Real Talk, uh, coming to you live from out of Toronto, Canada. Just a drive by quick commercial on behalf of Coach T. Uh, yes, my co-host Tamika here on Health Watch. And also, um, yeah, have a good one. God bless you. God keep you. May his face continue to shine upon you. And remember, Jesus loves you. 
Yes, he does. John 3, 16 states it well. For God so loved the world. That includes you. Uh, glory to God. So be blessed. Uh, remain focused. It's not a season to be distracted. And remember, Coach T, declutter, mind, find a space for that thing. Connect with her. March is almost over. $49. You do not want to miss that special. Uh, glory to God. Be blessed and have yourself a wonderful day.